www.seancarnavillis.co.ke Athletics coach Claudio Baradelli has been charged with administering a banned performance-enhancing drug on former Boston and Chicago Marathon champion Rita Jepto. Baradelli was charged at the Milimani Law Courts, Nairobi, alongside capsabet based pharmacist Stephen Kiplagat Tanui, alias Kalia, and Daniel Cheribo Kiplagat, with conspiring to injure the athlete's profession by administering the blood booster EPO through a prohibited method. And along with the trio, Dr. Ken Mbalimo, clinical officer Samson Kiprotich, and herbal dealer Joseph Mwangi were also charged with converting St. Luke's Hospital in Eldoret into a center for administering the prohibited substance to athletes. Now, the way sport deals with drug cheats needs fundamental reform, according to IOC President Thomas Barr. And his comments have come after more than 100 Russian athletes were banned from this summer's games in the wake of a World Anti-Doping Agency report into state-sponsored doping. The IOC has no authority over the testing program of athletes outside the Olympic Games. The IOC has no authority to follow up on information about failings of the testing system. The fact that the shared responsibilities of the stakeholders of the WADA system are not clear to everybody is one of the deficiencies of the current anti-doping system which have been laid bare. The recent developments have shown that we need a full review of the WADA anti-doping system. The IOC is calling for a more robust and efficient anti-doping system. This requires clear responsibilities, more transparency, more independence, and a better worldwide harmonization. The IOC will make proposals in all these respects at an Olympic summit in October this year and in 2017 at the WADA Extraordinary World Conference on Doping for which the IOC has called. For its part, the IOC will continue its push to make doping testing and sanctioning independent from sports organizations. Rio 2016 officially gets underway with the opening ceremony on Friday, but the football competition kicks off today with the women's tournament. Here's BBC Sport with the latest on how the city has prepared for the games. I would say that there is still work going on, um, and they, you know that is that is the case if you go to any uh, big sporting event. I mean, I think back to a couple of years ago in the World Cup uh, here in Brazil. I was uh, at the stadium in São Paulo where the first game Brazil against Croatia uh, was about to take place the next day, and there were still people wielding angle grinders and all that kind of thing. So there definitely is is work going on. Um, but it's it's you know the it's it's fine tuning stuff is is my impression. I have not been to every venue by any means. I'm here in the Olympic Park where those halls and so on have been put up. They're mostly temporary buildings or semi-temporary rather than the uh, white elephants that we saw at places like Athens. Um, so uh, you know there is still work going on, but it uh, it is it, if not quite cosmetic, it's the last bits that they're doing. Germany midfielder Leroy Sané has completed his move to Manchester City for a fee of £37 million plus add-ons and the 20-year-old has signed a five-year contract after leaving Schalke. Here's BBC Sport. It is a measure of the faith Guardiola has in Leroy Sané that only Kevin De Bruyne and Raheem Sterling have cost Manchester City more than the initial £37 million they will pay to buy the 20-year-old from Schalke. An eye-catching attacking midfield player Sané has the skills and control Guardiola demands and City have beaten off interest from Real Madrid and Bayern Munich to sign him. It is Guardiola's fourth summer purchase and with Everton's John Stones leading the list of targets to fill a central defensive slot, Manchester City's new manager is not finished in this transfer window just yet. Wayne Rooney's testimonial match between Manchester United and Everton today will make history as the first ever game between Premier League teams to be streamed live on Facebook. It will be available to 1.7 billion people on the platform worldwide via Rooney's and the Manchester United Facebook pages. And the game at Old Trafford between Rooney's only two professional clubs marks his 12 years service at United. Sean Carter-Villis, the voice of sport.